Travel to get here. Oh, well, thank you. It was okay. Just a little bit windy, but it was it was fine. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Just a couple of quick questions. How do you think the scene for yourself is going in Hungary at the moment? Well, it's interesting. It's a, it's a good scene, of course. Uh, I don't know what the people know about the country and the, and the scene there, but uh, on the club side, is we have some really good events, of course, uh, with some uh, local DJs as well and international DJs as well. So it's really good for electronic music, I think, that country. So you have to see that. So what are your plans for 2013? Obviously we're at the start of the year, so I'm guessing there's big plans. And I have some really great goals for the year, of course, and uh, I had the luck with the start of the year because my last release is out now, so just just uh, released that Monday. So after two days it was in the top ten, so I'm, I'm, whoa, I'm so surprised, so it's, it's a great start for me, of course. Obviously you're well established being a DJ and producing music as well, do you have any advice for sort of any people wanting to break into the DJ scene? Well, I always try to, to try to, to keep the balance between the both sides of myself, uh, the DJ and the producer side, of course. But, uh, you know, I don't know what, what can I uh, know about me, but I started my car career, <laughs> as if I can say, in a busy school, for eight years in a music busy school, as a musician. I started to play on violin and singing the chorus and everything. It was it was just a good start for the producer side. But uh, at the early early years, I wanted to be a real DJ as well. So it's it's uh, it's 50 50 as I feel myself and try to keep this balance as well. So at the weekdays, I'm in the studio and working on my stuff. And the weekend, I'm always traveling around the world and, and play as a DJ. This is well and the life. I, I love both sides. Yeah. Excellent. Well, we'll let you relax before you go and do your set. But on behalf of Elevate and Deborah Cocktail, thank you for letting us interview you. You being rock by the man Doug Lazy. Getting hyped, the girls going crazy. Poetry and house is getting raw. And I support it, kind of like a brawl would, because I feel I should, you know. And if you're ready to shake that, let's go. going to be three years old um, on, in February. Uh, it started back with me and a couple of mates uh, after sort of DJing in the bedroom, just trying to get a night together um, and it's obviously spawned from that. Um, Come to have some of the biggest DJs in the world over to Scotland and Glasgow and now Motherwell. Um, our aim now is to bring some of the biggest tech house techno DJs to Motherwell to the Megabar. Um, Obviously with Jay Lumen from Hungary tonight, Manuel Delmar, um, who's coming over in March. Obviously you've got Jay Lumen in tonight, so obviously he must be one of sort of your top DJs, producers that you like. Do you have anyone else that you're sort of into at the moment? Uh, absolutely, there's, I mean, at the moment there's so many inspirations. Um, and obviously guys from Glasgow, like, um, Gary Beck for one, um, Boy Pepeza, who's worked with Jay on a few things. Uh, guys like Sonny Wharton from down south has played at Elevate before, um, Nelsky, uh, one of our friends as well. But even so much the, the homegrown talent, I mean there's guys out there like Alan Forrest, Gump who's our resident, um, boy Andy Rayside uh, from On The House, Gary Livingston, 
uh, and then you'll get the younger boys coming through, Nick McPhee, uh, the Tepa Cartel boys. All I can say is I think 2013 is going to be a big year, uh, for, for obviously for my brand, for the so local guys, um, on the house, uh, everyone involved. I don't think there should be any, there's no any competition. Uh, it's all about the music, it should always be about the music and I'm really looking forward to the year ahead. resident DJs for the Elevate event. Can you tell us sort of how long you've been DJing for? What made you want to join the Elevate brand? Well I've been DJing now for about four years and uh, I just kind of like the vibe of this place. I um, started playing sort of housey stuff and then I got into more techy stuff and when Port asked me to play here I was delighted when he asked me. Excellent. What's your sort of views on tech house? Is it up and coming? Do you think more people are getting involved? Definitely. Um, I think it's definitely 2013 is going to be a big year for Tech House, especially with people like Jay Lumen, uh, Mark Knight and stuff like that, it's going to be massive. So who sort of inspired you to become a DJ? Who's your sort of top DJs at the moment as well? I first of all, we started listening to trans music, sort of like Tiesto and stuff like that. Originally then, you know, sort of green, I started getting into green velvet, sort of really old sort of techno music and then it sort of kind of grew into more kind of funky stuff as the way sort of Jay Lumen plays, you know. Nick Van Chule, Yoris Vier and stuff like that. What is happening, my brother, is in a unique mood because he's closing the era on one particular age and opening a new spiritual mood. And Israel is caught right in the middle of it. God's people are caught in the pivotal turn of God shutting one door and opening the other. What's happening here is God in the earth. 